Okay, we have here today another integral. This one's from the MIT integration we from 1991, problem 26. We have the integral of cosine 2x times sine 6x dx. Okay, the big thing to notice here is just the fact that we've got different angles on the cosine and sine. It turns out any problem like this where you have cosine and sine on different angles, it's pretty routine. It's just a formula. The only thing that I find difficult is it's actually kind of hard to remember those formulas. So what I want to do instead is look into how we can derive this formula fairly quickly if we forget the formula. Okay, so the way I want to approach this is just by using the angle sum and angle difference formulas for sine and cosine. But you might be thinking, what if I can't remember these formulas? Now, for one thing, we don't really need all four of these because for the angle difference formulas, notice only the sine is changing. Like, like the first formula and second formula are exactly the same except for the sine. And the same thing is true here with the cosine formulas, only the sine is changing here. And so the only thing you really have to remember is like with cosine, it's always like cosine, cosine, and with sine, it's gonna be sine, cosine. The way I remember this is if you think about cosine 2a, and we break that up and we, wrote it, we write it as cosine a plus a, then using this formula, you end up with cosine squared a minus sine squared a. But this here, this is exactly our double angle formula for cosines. This is just kind of how I keep it straight in my mind. So now like coming back to our integral, let's just kind of label We'll say 6x is going to be our a value and 2x is going to be our b value. So what I want to do is look at our angle sum angle difference formulas and look at which one of these is going to help us in this case. Because what we want in this case is we're going to want a value for, I can write this as sine a cos b. And coming down here, we have those values. We have it right here. But notice sine a cos b doesn't show up at all in these formulas for cosine, right? Because we have cosine a cosine b, sine a sine b. So these formulas here, those are not going to help us in this case. So what I can do is just take these first two formulas, the angle sum, angle difference for sine. We can just add them together and bring it down here. So when I do that, we're saying we're adding sine a plus b and sine a minus b. And when we do that, notice these last terms, these are going to just cancel. And we just get two copies of this. We're going to have two sine a cos b but we want to get a value for sine a cos b. So all I need to do is if I just divide by two here, that's going to cancel and I'll divide by two on the other side. And so for sine a cos b, this is going to give us our value right here. Okay, so now that we've derived our formula and we have our value for sine a cos b, which is our integral, we just need to rewrite our integral in this form. And let's just note that our a value is six x and our b value is going to be two x. Then rewriting our integral in this form, I'm going to take the two in the denominator and bring it out front of the integral and write it as one half. So then using this, we're gonna have sine a plus b, a plus b, six x plus two x is gonna give me eight x. And then for this next piece, sine a minus b is gonna be six x minus two x or sine four x dx. But now that we're adding, instead of multiplying here, we can split this up into two easy integrals and finish it off. So we'll still have our one half out front. Integral of sine eight x, this is gonna be minus cosine eight x over eight. And then here, integral of sine 4x, this is gonna be minus cosine 4x over four. And I think I will actually simplify this. I think I'll factor a minus 1 eighth out of this. So what I can do is have minus one over 16 in front, then this first term just becomes cosine 8x. And then because we factor that minus 1 eighth out here, this is gonna become a plus two cosine 4x, put a plus c, and that's it. Okay, so there you have a different angle formula for sine and cosine. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.